Okay, so in this video I'm going to be doing the 2023 Halloween event for Final Fantasy XIV. And it's already like November, I've been lazy, uh, taking my time. The event extends a few days past Halloween. So it's also early morning, so like no one's even here. <laughs> but uh, I guess the, uh, that Guild Adventurer is where the event starts. But first we'll go over this lore guy. I think, uh, I mean, it's the same each year. I'm just going to click through it just for completeness in case it's different. I think sometimes it's a tiny bit different. Just goes over the lore of All Saints Wake. Alright, uh, I guess so let me just take a quick look at the NPCs. This is just a, a regular NPC that's not event related. So look at the store. Oh, they let you buy some stuff already. See the description of bottom right there. Uh, I'll buy this later. So my inventory is almost full, so <laughs> I'll buy it later at towards the end of the video and I'll show it off. The fireworks is from a uh, previous year. There's nothing special about this fireworks this year. Or like nothing new. So we've seen this before already. It's pretty cool though. Um, and the quest doesn't start here, so there's nothing else to see here. No NPCs I'm missing out on, I guess. Oh, I got a bit there. Um, yeah, I guess uh, let's go start the quest. Double checking. Let's see anyone else here, I guess. Well, looks like we get the emote. So this here is just an emote and the housing item. After uh, all these years, after all these years of doing the Halloween event, um, still don't even know this guy's name. It's just Adventures Guild Investigator. Uh, but yeah, I guess let's go talk to the pumpkin, pumpkin-headed apparition. Which I guess from the previous years we learned, you know, it's a uh, is good. She has taken care of Papa Gruff from last year, I guess. Alright, looks like we gotta go to the Letter Workers Guild. Okay, so uh, let me check with this NPC. See if he says anything different. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like it's all the same here. So let's go to the Leather Workers Guild. Well, I guess I could have just walked over from the amphitheater, but <laughs> it's slightly closer. Clown amongst clowns. I don't know if that's a compliment. It sounds more like an insult. That kid getting scared by that little dog is not his fault, I feel like. <laughs> that kid has uh, issues. I guess uh, we're just gonna uh, pick the last option so I remember. And then I'll try the other option later on on my own. Like it's one of those uh, following quests. Uh, they really need to not explain it with a system message every time. It's like, yeah, we've seen this already. We don't need to see it again. Or read the instructions already. Uh, let me uh, see what he says when we dismiss. And you'll have additional dialogue here when we re-accept. Alright, uh, let's uh, go check out what we had to do with him. Uh, let's see. Let me just double check when we talk to some of the other PCs with him following. Let's see if it makes any difference. He doesn't say anything different.
Uh, I mean, you should probably say the same thing whether you have him following you or not. It's just the next part of the quest. But okay, uh, let's continue on. We gotta go to this waymarker location, right? I guess across this bridge here. It's not down there. Nope. Off duty sergeant. So we gotta choose, um, looks like there's many choices. Uh, I'm gonna try to guess the correct one, and then we'll go over the incorrect ones on my alt if they do anything different. So uh, he should get something really scary, I guess, since he's a veteran or something. Seems like we were successful. Okay, so he doesn't say anything different there. So I guess we go on to the next person, which is all the way up in the Lancer's Guild. Cowering boy. Okay, so I guess if I have to guess, it's probably gonna have to give him the easy monster. Or something uh, not scary. I'm not sure what they mean by spoopy, but I guess that sounds like the one that is not scary. Alright, uh, so, where do we have to go next? Gotta go to the achievement area. We really need the Aether right there. It's always a pain to run up there. So I accidentally clicked. Um, and this mouse is like dying. Whenever I right click to uh, move my camera, sometimes it just click clicks. Like it right clicks, double, double right clicks or something. And then you get that. Replaced in Black Friday or something. But anyways, here we have to talk to the uncowed girl. So I guess something in the middle, since uh, we since we already uh, picked the scariest one and the least scariest. Oh, he didn't even ask me. I guess. Alright, so no new dialogue there. Looks like we gotta go over here to this marker region. 
Okay, we got a startled botanist. I guess I'll pick the last option here. Looks like we gotta go to the Great Moon Glory. Whoa, puny proposal of a friend? Sounds racist. I wonder if that's a race specific. I guess if it is, I'll... I don't know, I'll... I don't have any other races as a uh, level, so... Maybe I'll just search it up and I'll post it on as a text on the video, overlay it somehow.
Leaking pumpkin. Let's take a walk through it. Um, just killed him. Bake them in pie. We're gonna be eating voicen. I mean, I, I don't know about this. Doesn't feel like we're the good guys here. It's not gonna object to uh, turning voicen into pumpkin and then baking them into pie. Okay, then I guess. Uh, looks like we gotta use the emote. Where is it? Uh, there it is. That's pretty, pretty cute. I guess uh, I probably need to hit something for it to do that little effect at the end of the animation. Yeah, the little pumpkin things, the bats. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's continue on with the quest. Let me check over to NPCs real quick, see if you see anything different. Doesn't really seem like it there. Uh, looks like the white pumpkin head person is not there anymore, so no NPCs to check. So just continue on with the quest. Uh, okay, uh, looks like I've got a Cast a charm on him. Turn him into a pumpkin. Bake him into a pie. Oh, it's a little cutscene, I guess. So while I do agree that Halloween is like a celebration, it should be, you know, happy. Yeah, I feel like they need to add a few more scares in here. You know, just a few jump scares or whatever. In a cutscene or something, just to spook a bit. So right now everything is just too happy. But let's uh, pumpkinize this guy, turn him into some pumpkin pie. So that's another one taken care of. Looks like got another one up north.
looks like that's all of them. Let's uh, go back to where they want us to go, which is the amphitheater. Let's see if it says the same thing till the end of the event. Um, let's continue on. Oh, we've got some extra people here. This is to take us to the house. Or the mansion, and then this guy's house from last year, I guess. I guess we're not we're not eating them. <laughs> okay. Is it just me or does uh, Fu Fu Cha appear in quite a lot of the seasonal events compared to the other guild masters? I guess the Weaver also appears a lot. Oops, uh, my minion. All right, I guess that kind of concludes the event. Um, I think uh, we already seen all the, the stuff you could buy. Oh, there's some NPCs appeared. We trigger some of these. All right, uh, this guy. I don't know who he's talking to, though. Oh, it's uh, Mama Gruff and their kid. Uh, they were in some instance event in the, some previous Halloween event. Uh, I have a video about it if you want to see it. That instance event was pretty cool. Too bad it was nothing like that this year, but I guess each year they focus more on particular events, seasonal events. So, uh, one of the conjurer, not conjurer, but white mage people, I forget what they're called. Archers are here. Uh, the other two NPCs don't have dialogue. Oh, it's a black mage. It's like the guild leader. Coco something. The 
other two NPCs don't seem to have dialogue. Those two are just regular NPCs. Um, not with event related. Oh, some low crits here too. Seems like they basically show up for like every season of it now. <laughs> okay, it looks like they run off too. Uh, okay, and let's see who else is here. I do not remember the golden afro dude, but he's beside the person that looks like a botanist. Uh, but I've, I haven't done the botanist quests for a long, or like I did, I did them so long ago that I don't remember him. I'm going to spice this part in. Uh, apparently there is a couple more NPCs that appear if you have the Reaper quests finished, which I didn't because I've been lazy and I don't play Reaper. I have a max level, but I just never finished the quest. <laughs> These two people, which I just did the quest, but I already forgot their names. All right, pretty interesting. Let me uh, cut back to the the quest. I guess that gives us access to the other areas. Also gives us an achievement, which uh, doesn't come with a title anymore, as usual. It hasn't been a long time since achievement uh, our seasonal achievement gave a title. Because they can't really sell those on the Mox Age for some reason. But let's go to the Haunted Manor. I mean, this is here every year. It's been here in past years before, so I'm not really gonna go over it. They used to have some uh, instance event in here. Um, I guess it won't be on the second floor, but it'll be on the first floor. There'll be some NPCs here to let you change into various glamours of various characters. So I don't know if there's anything new this year. Uh, what is this? This is from the old expansions or Elrond uh, Reborn and stuff like that. That was the Heaven Sword one. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, it's probably the Realm Reborn one. Yeah, we've seen all these before in the previous year, so I'm not gonna go over them all unless I see something different here. For some reason, they have two imps for this. I guess these are all the other expansions. Walker dude. And Walker Warrior of Light. I guess uh I think some of these are, are new. I don't know who this person is. Oh, it's that person from Eureka Orthos. Surprised they put her in here. So I guess we have a few new ones, because I guess this wasn't Orthos wasn't the thing last Halloween, I guess. I forget. Uh let me how do I disable okay, I gotta click that button. See if there's any other new ones. Oh, it's the... <laughs> they put the Criterion people here. We got uh, Erin Vale. Although I'm, I think Erin Vale was here last time we saw it. So I think all the others are probably the same. I feel like I've seen the rest of these from the previous year, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, there's just all the NPCs. Yeah, it looks like the rest of these are the same, so I'm probably just gonna skip over it. If you wanna see it, it was in like a previous year's Halloween event. Maybe I'll link it in the corner or something. Um, this could be, uh, what's her name? 
Hagaga. Beastmaster Lalafell with the, the ride emote. But okay, uh, let's go check out what other stuff they have. Looks like the, this NPC will take us directly to the other location. Because I guess the guy's house, the white pumpkin head person's house. This was pretty cool last year, or I, don't, I forget if it was last year or whatever year they did this in. But uh, yeah, this area is, like has a lot of unique assets. And it's very, very detailed. So I guess uh, right now Halloween's over, so no one's here anymore, but, you know, during Halloween a lot of people would have been here. So I guess they uh, have the usual two imps that do the, all the glamours, in case you want to dress up as stuff. It's the same for both, yep. Yeah, same as in the house. Maybe we could learn some lore, I guess, from this person. I think it's the same as last year, I'm just gonna click through it real quick. Just, uh, in case it's any different. They are the Great Ward. Alright, uh, I mean, I guess there's not too much else to see since I already explored this fully in the previous years. Um, there's a few small NPCs and everything that float around and do some dialogue, but we've seen all of these before. So I will probably, unless I see something different, I'll probably just cut the video here and maybe splice in the alternate dialogue routes or the NPCs or whatever. And then I'll splice in the rewards at the end. Because this time we uh, will pick the first option here. I'm not sure who, who which child is scared by a puppy. That looks like it's the same reaction here. So it seems like last time we did it correctly, but this time we will try to do it incorrectly. So for him, I will pick the small uncanny thing. Oh, I guess it, it forces you to pick the correct one. Okay, well. Yeah, looks like that's pretty much it. Two different options. So, yeah, it doesn't let you fail it, I guess. For this kid, let's uh, try the other two options too. Who's the real monster? <laughs> Take the first option here. And I guess, of course, uh, all the other NPCs don't show up, like the Lockwoods, if you have not completed the quest. So, seems like you need to complete more job quests to see all the NPCs. Uh, this character only has white mage and black mage, I think. So I guess, yeah, it's, uh, we will have to conjure people. And also archer, I guess I unlocked archer. So we have those people showing up. I had to uh, head to the basement here because I have ran out of like, room on the first floor, basically. Uh, I think I already showed off the description. So that's the Fall Guys crown. So let's just place it on the wall. Yeah, I guess we get some bat stickers. Not the most impressive uh, housing item of reward, but I guess. Yeah, this crown is way, way more impressive for the Fall Guys thing. We're gonna have to crown. Um, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. I mean, they, they put, like, they divert different amounts of effort to different seasonal events every once in a while. Like, you know, so one year this event will get glamour, and another one will get glamour, and you can switch, switch it up. So. Guess the Halloween wasn't as big this year, it doesn't get the instance or whatever. Uh, and it goes to another event. But we do get a cool emote, because emote's pretty cute. Anyways, I guess, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.